Yeah, yeah get, get him. him. Ghost was my boy. I wanted to be him so bad. Oh, oh. That's some Tom Cruise collateral action right there. Yeah, this is a sketchy thing. Rooftops, you don't know who's a threat. This is tricky, tricky. This is why you're always looking at the hands because you don't want to be killing civilians. Well, hello everyone. We're back. It's good to see you. We are going to be looking at some gameplay footage today of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remastered, including the very controversial No Russian mission. My name is Israel Wright. I'm a Special Forces Green Beret, stationed formerly out of Fort Lewis, Washington. And hello, my name is Cameron Fath. I was a former Army Ranger out of 2nd Ranger Battalion, also out of Fort Lewis, Washington. And I am specifically excited because one of these missions featuring my boys, 75th Ranger Regiment, so let's go. Let's see how these guys represent and handle business. Looks like this uh, Modern Warfare 2 gameplay is from Draculus Cinematic Gaming. Awesome name. Nice. Oh man, here we oh. go. The controversial one. I know. That's rough, man. That's brutal. Whoever is playing this video game right it's now, doing this gameplay, they need to... Horrible person. They need to check themselves. Is that a 240? Yeah, 240 Bravo. And not to mention, it's so hard to just shoot that thing from the hip. I mean, it's heavy. The Bravo is over 20 pounds with the amount of bullets you use. 100 rounds yeah. of 7.62 weighs around 7 pounds. So you're carrying 30 pounds, really elongated in this gun, and you're trying to just hip fire it. It's very challenging. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's got a lot of kick, man. Yeah, it does. I remember playing this when it came out and like it made me feel so uncomfortable. That's how I know I'm not a psychopath. Yeah. Cause like I couldn't like shoot these people in video games. It's, the whole purpose of this mission is just to right. kill you, civilians. Yeah, you're an American trying to go undercover with this Russian splinter group or whatever. You gotta earn their trust by engaging in this terrorist act. I know that you can actually go through the entire level and not engage yeah. or you can skip the level altogether. But you gotta fight the police at the end. Ooh, yeah. that's rough. 40 mic mic and everybody. Yeah, just innocent civilians. Yeah, it's nuts. And I mean, I mean, this came out before like all the shootings really yeah. impacted the states yeah. a lot. Now looking at it, you're like, oh. Ooh. You're like, eee. In this kind of terrorist situation, you run and hide, you know what I mean? Where are the exits? Do I have any loved ones with me I need to take care of? You know, how do you even prepare for a situation like this mentally or emotionally? There's gonna be a lot going on. I mean, mainly your priority is barricade yourself. and. The first thing to do is just hide, you know, barricade yourself. Fighting, like to all the people who say, you know what, I'll just fight them. That's probably the worst thing you can do. You just get yourself killed and possibly get other people killed. Mm. Don't be a f***ing hero. We got ballistic shields there. We're like Mike Blast. Those are just ballistic shields. They've got some pretty high rated shields though. You got shields that can take 50 cal round. Oh yeah. And, you know, explosions, maybe not so much. Yeah, a lot of police forces use shields and they're a great tool, especially like federal agencies. They'll utilize shields because when they're trying to get these guys, they're high risk felons, Yeah. essentially. So that shield man is super important to keeping the rest of his team alive. The mission that I did, we never had to employ any kind of shield. That wasn't the purpose, you know. Yeah. We were going in lightning fast. We were blowing doors and going in really Really quick and we weren't like standing up against a force mano a mano you know yeah oh they find him out then what was the point of this they find out that you're a double agent so they yeah so they man. blame this attack on america right because they know he's works for the cia or whatever so when they find the body they trace it back to america and then that's when they invade because the war happened takedown mission takedown isn't that like every mission? Task Force 141. Yeah, McTavish. McTavish and Ghost, dude. Ghost was my boy. <laughs> I wanted to be him so bad. Look at him rolling with the gangster hold. I love it. Oh, oh. Damn, this guy's trained. That's some Tom Cruise collateral action right the there. Down, get the fuck down. Oh, no. Uh, homeboy got taken. But the good thing is, if you're taking contact from the front like that, that engine is going to stop most of those rounds. Mm -hmm. So your best bet is to stuck down like that because no no rounds are gonna penetrate that engine block. Covering you oh, dude. Nice. Yeah. I like the over under. Yeah, high man, low man. High man, low man, yeah. Takes a little longer, but it's safer. Oh we are we're Rio de Janeiro? Right. Get oh. the out of here kids. Go play soccer somewhere else. That's good, trying to clear them out. That's very nice. 
Oh gosh. Yeah, this is a sketchy thing. Rooftops, you don't know who's a threat. Yeah, a lot of dead zones. There's no, yeah, no uniform force to go out. Mm -mm. This is tricky, tricky. This is why you're always looking at the hands. Every person is considered a threat, but you right. have to positively identify because you don't want to be killing civilians. Yep. That's one thing we try to mitigate. The biggest importance is, you know, civilian casualties. Oh, shooting the dog out of nowhere? Come on. No, that dog was going to come after you, dude. You got to make that choice, yeah. yeah. Cry later. I'm not a fan of the shotgun. Uh, I'm, I'm not a very good shot when it comes to these first person shooters, so shotgun is not my weapon of choice. I need a lot of bullets to throw down range. <laughs> God, I love this game, dude. This yeah. game was like my favorite game. Uh, I haven't played it. You haven't played no, it? The only Call of Duty that I've ever played is Black Ops Cold War. Really? Yeah. Okay. Everybody keeps telling me, everybody on the channel, when I'm streaming, they're like, have you played this? But, okay, I got a list. I got a list, folks. I'm gonna get to it. Get to it, man. <laughs> Stop wasting time! Knifing somebody like that would be a little unrealistic, but you don't just slash and get over it. And there's no instant kill. You gotta give it a little bit of more care and attention than that. Yeah. This guy's moving, I like yeah, it. Yeah, this is a little too fast for me, a little too chaotic. Oh, Double Kimo. Uzis? Yeah, that's actually not the most preferred using two weapons, because you can't really look down the sides of each and then... It's hard to control. Nice. Yeah, get, him, get him! You got it, so... Yeah. Get him. <laughs> Ramirez. Ah, the 75th Ranger Regiment. These guys look familiar. <laughs> yeah. This is all you. First bat. Striker Fort vehicle? Stewart. Yeah, we use strikers a lot, actually. We did an entire training cycle using strikers to prep for an Iraq mission. But yeah, SCAR. SCAR is accurate. I used one overseas. The SCAR was just coming into play when I was out processing, so I never did get to use it. Urban environment, looks like an American city. Great. Don't shoot your own boys, bro. Let's go, man. Guys. Let's represent. Oh, what, you don't like television? Come on. You want to pick a U.S. fighting force, though, that's going to handle fucking business, you're going to call a 75th Ranger Regiment. <laughs> we had a few small training areas that were meant to be, like, urban environments, but they were always modeled to be after, like, Iraqi villages or, like, third world countries and stuff. I mean, we haven't really fought a war at home. Yeah. God forbid that happens. But I mean, if it did happen, if we went on full Red Dawn here, I'm sure we would have no trouble clearing our own streets. Mm -hmm. Piss off America, bad idea. Woohoo! Was that a C-130? This is a, like apocalyptic proportions right here, man. The only thing that's super inaccurate about this, well, I mean, there's a lot of inaccuracies, but <laughs> it's Private Ramirez is carrying a scar. You would never let the privates carry the cool guns. You would always give them regular sh <laughs> And his team leader is not calling him a dumb <laughs> fuck, so. <laughs> Rangers lead the way. Are we fighting now? See, I'm not familiar with the story. Are we fighting our own people? Are we fighting? No, this America? is the Russian invasion. This is the Russian invasion. Okay. Yeah, so this is like a Red them. Dawn type action. Exactly. That's. I think this is where the inspiration of this mission came in. Ah, uh, um, nice. Uh, we also don't uh, use carbon fiber helmets. Ah, I got you. Use ops cores. I can go on and on and on. Do don't it. Don't get me started, go man. Go on. Yeah, let's get it, boys. I mean, for a house like. You would have way more people in there. Yeah, you go way fast. You go a whole lot going on. Yeah, it's methodical. It's slow. Not just you and your team leader going. I mean, anything could happen. Let's be honest. But I mean, for the fighting force that we have, especially the way we trained in a regiment, is team. Move with the team. It's a nice place here. You got a wine cellar. You got a pool. Yeah, nice place here. You got. <laughs> wouldn't want to fuck it up. Oh, what do we got there? Anti-aircraft weapon? We need to go take those out. This is just like Point Du Hawk. Let's take out those anti-air guns, dude. <laughs> so the rest of the force can move. Let me paint you a picture to give you some Ranger history, right? Point Du Hawk was one of the most important operations in the invasion of D-Day because they cleared the cliffs. Over 200 went, about 50 made it up, and they took out the guns that allowed the actual force to come in and land. And General Norman D. Coda, who is in charge of the other conventional army, they were like, who are you guys? And we're like, 5th Ranger Battalion. General Norman D. Coda said, well, Rangers, lead the way. And that's, ah, that's and where that's we got. where that came from. Nice. We talk about this all day, folks. <laughs> super pumped up. My boys represented hardcore. Yeah, that was super intense. It was a little bit of Red Dawn action. Exactly. Like all that. that hate's going to burn you up, son. 
keeps me warm at night. Damn right it does. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more of us, go ahead and check out Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. Plus, oh, wait a second. I don't know if you noticed this. This beautiful shirt is a Kick God Money Battalion shirt. That is my personal brand. If you guys want to check it out, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you want to hang out with me some more, go to twitch.tv slash myhappyself. You guys can do that. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll be back. Okay, so when you So this is my chance, everyone. Don't let me blow it. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, if you're like, Cameron, you're smiling. I'll be like. <laughs> Anti. But, nope. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm in trouble.